Hello! Welcome to my eclectic channel. Uh, I make videos for fun and today is a fashion video. Uh, now, I am not gonna link a bunch of products in the description and have you run to the store um, or the online stores anyway. Um, you're gonna have to work a bit harder at this uh, or you can just sit back and enjoy the video. I have curated uh, quite a respectful uh, wardrobe. Uh, it's, um, it's my, I found my style. Uh, there are things that fit well, uh, that I love to wear. I like fashion, so I follow the trends. And by that I mean, I look at things on the internet uh, and I, I watch fashion YouTube videos, but I actually never go and buy anything. Why? because I already own a lot. Uh, so what I like to do is to, um, and, and it is a, a wardrobe that I've built over decades. That means that I have something for every new trend. So today what I want to do is to look at the fall 2022 trends or some of them that, that I found um, interesting and go into my, my wardrobe and shop. Um, and I encourage you to do the same, it, it can be fun. Uh, another thing I'm going to do uh, is to focus on making the trends work for my body uh, and specify my body is, uh, I'm, I'm small, I'm small this way, I'm short this way, but my middle is a little big, so I'm kind of a, uh, I don't know what you call it, maybe a mini apple. <laughs> But at any rate, you know very well that not everything in trends work for, for everyone. Uh, so that's part also of the fun, is to go and make the trends work for us. Trend number one, the power suit. Now that one I had to actually search what it meant. Like, okay, it's a suit, but why is it called a power suit? What do you mean by that? And what I gather, at least for 2022, it essentially means something in bold colors. I have a pink suit because I really love pink. I'm not sure that that qualifies as power. And mainly I have more muted uh, colors because my wardrobe is one that is classic. It's meant to go over the year. So when they put out something like bold colors, okay, for me it's a little harder. So I'm going to, to focus more on the shape of the suits and, and, and take this opportunity to uh, find the, the, the shape of, of particularly the blazers that work for uh, smaller women. A couple seasons ago, uh, to my, I can't call it dismay because I don't run and buy things, um, but I knew that this was a season that if I needed something, I would not be able to uh, find clothes that fit in stores at all. A um, couple of seasons ago we went through a back to the 1980s phase and so at that time blazers and suits were oversized. Uh, so fortunately that's uh, that's out though if the, like I said the 2022 power suit aside from being a bold color is really up to you in terms of style. Uh, so I'm sure those of us who went into the oversized trend can still use that. Um, now, for, 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 the, for the petite women, that's just god-awful. <laughs> this kind of suiting and, and fitting uh, quickly turns into a... Uh, this was the smallest size I could find in the entire store and I can't afford a seamstress blazer which is exactly the story for that one uh, that I got when I was in, in high school. Uh, and it is on my pile of, uh, of clothes to uh, alter to fit me, now that I have acquired uh, more seamstress skills. Uh, so focusing on the, on the blazers, uh, and then we'll fold in the bottom. Um, what I have found important uh, when it comes to blazers is uh, the... Um, the, the length. Uh, as, as a short woman, I really need to watch the length. In particular, uh, I am short torsoed, so I think that also plays a role. So here's what I found on my body type, uh, is the, uh, 
the longer uh, jackets tend not to look very good, uh, and, but there's a way to make it work and I'll get to that. But generally, uh, like long blazer on top of long skirt, no. Um, and I don't own pants, but I'm pretty sure that would not work either. Uh, and this is, uh, this is very easy to find out. <laughs> you try one the shorter, you try one longer, and you will, you, you will know what works for you. Uh, so so what, what I found, though, with the longer blazers, and this is where we're going to get to a trend of 2022. Long blazers are fine on, with a, a shorter bottom, like short skirts. Oddly enough, like I was not expecting that, but it works really well. So I, I do wear my longer uh, blazers with uh, mini skirts, just boldly. Uh, the mini skirt suit, by the way, is a trend for fall 2022. So actually, there was a trend. <laughs> trend number two is the mini skirt suit, something that I can absolutely work with. Uh, I, I have uh, pretty legs, and when, I, when you're shorter, Short hemlines work really nice. So I, I own quite quite a few mini skirts and I, I uh, enjoy wearing them. Trend number three uh, is the, uh, what do they call it? The outrageous knit. Let me go back and check. No, okay, I've seen it called uh, extreme knitwear. So uh, extreme knitwear is all about uh, really like bigger, like knit, knit, uh, knit pieces that are big and just outrageous uh, for a petite, no, <laughs> on a small body, no, no, uh, simply not, no. Uh, but uh, I would say that I, I am a knitter uh, and I am um, an experienced one at that. Uh, so I, I have knitted entire outfits for myself and I have not hesitated to wear knit from top to bottom. And sometimes I even uh, match the top and the bottom of what I do. So I think that qualifies as extreme knitwear. Uh, so I'll start with uh, the, we were talking about the, the mini skirt suits. Well, guess what I have? I own <laughs> a mini skirt suit that I knitted out of red yarn. Ha! We've got the, uh, the power suit too. Uh, yeah, generally I don't recommend like, uh, <laughs> it's going overboard uh, on the trends, but you know, accident. I, I, I made this suit uh, 11 years ago. I never knew 2022 would, would be, you know, I didn't know what the trends for 2022 would be. Um, so I'm putting here a few more examples of how a, a, a somebody who's smaller, um, by that I mean like not tall. I think for the extreme knitwear, you, you really gotta be like tall and, and thin. And I'm not. So uh, it's like with everything else, I follow uh, rules that work with my body type. Uh, and as I mentioned, I'm, I'm an apple and you'll be like, nah, you're not. My waist is not small, uh, so so I do uh, have to work with that. So here's the problem with knitwear, as wonderful as it is, it creates bulk around the waist very easily. Uh, so what that means for me uh, is I will um, wear my, my skirts a little lower. If there's bulk on the waist, I'll put that bulk a little lower and accentuate the waist. Uh, or I will um, make sure that I work with uh, yarn that is thinner and does not create too much bulk at the waist uh, or else have a, an outfit that is such that it, it's okay if there's no, no waist showing. So there's a number of ways to work with that. Uh, what, one thing that keeps coming back and is a style I really like and that I saw again with the extreme knitwear. So wh whenever they bring out the long flowy stuff, the, the small women among us go, I mean, by that I mean the short one, we go, I can't, I'm going to disappear. And, and then they say, oh, cinch it at the waist. So, so one thing I've seen is that, oh, if it's like a big scarf, then cinch it at the, put a belt, belt your scarf around your waist and you're good to go. Well, no, if you don't have a waist, you're not good to go. 
So, so I have a um, modified version of that that uh, I really like. Uh, first of all, it's warm, and where I live, that's really necessary. Uh, and uh, second, it, um, it works well with uh, the women who don't have much of a waist. By uh, following the rule, I've seen it men mentioned as being the, the X. The idea being is you create volume above, like on top, and you create volume with an A-line, and that way you create the illusion of a waist. So this works on bulking up the shoulders, uh, and, and then it, and also, well, it bulks up the shoulders, and it artfully masks the middle section. <laughs> so <laughs> so it's, a, it's a great uh, solution. Not sure how it would work with more busty women, but give it a shot. Um, and that is the uh, taking a stole. So you need a you need a bigger scarf, uh, something that's wide and long, like a maxi scarf. Uh, and then uh, you wrap it around your shoulders as you would a, a regular scarf. Um, and if you want it to stay there, uh, you can put a statement brooch at the shoulder, um, and and you have a, you have a, something that is special and uh, stylish. And here I'm showing off some of the other things that I did. Uh, I have a whole <laughs> knitted wardrobe and at some point I will make a, a video on uh, like a, a week, week long challenge of wearing only uh, knitted, knitting piece, knitted pieces that I've made. Um, but it's, actually I'm not out of it because it's, it's just fun <laughs> and easy to knit uh, ponchos stoles, all those kinds of things. So for me, that is a way to, to wear extreme knitwear uh, without uh, the disappearing or, or, or looking like a, like a sack of potatoes. Trend number four, dark academic. Uh, this is, um, it's not quite a fall 22 trend. It's something that uh, started on Instagram a year ago. That, and I didn't know about the reason I'm mentioning it here is that it, it falls into uh, some of the trends of fall 22. It fits with it. I was really intrigued by the the name, uh, and I checked it, and I I really love that trend. Um, and I should say, um, I have been. I did not know this, but I have been doing dark ac academic since since before whoever launched that on Instagram was born. Pretty sure about that. So lots and lots in my wardrobe for, for the dark academic. I think it's pretty much my identity. I think I'll just call myself that from now on. Trend number five, the leather and biker babe vibe. Surprisingly, I happen to have some, some of that in my closet as well. Um, but it is not my look. <laughs> so, so for me, it's more like along the lines of incorporating this into classic outfits that are more along my, uh, the lines of, of my style. Oh, wh one thing I want to mention here uh, that is part of that look and also the dark academic actually, uh, chunky boots. Chunky books, chunky, bo chunky books are heavy. So are chunky boots. Uh, chunky boots uh, are always with us, it seems like, um, and there's something that I don't wear, a uh, question of taste, number one. Number two, uh, comfort. I, uh, I like to be able to walk, to walk gracefully, <laughs> and when you're wearing bricks on your feet, it's kind of hard to do. Uh, and number three, um, I'm just, I'm small. I, my, my, my legs, uh, I love my legs. I think they're, they're, they're very shapely. Um, but as soon as I put a pair of chunky boots on, uh, they turn into matchsticks. So, so for me, it simply doesn't work. So I don't do uh, chunky boots. So I have, uh, I, I have uh, my alternatives uh, to that. Trend number six, the bomber jacket. Um, so here I had to look at pictures because quite frankly, I do not know what a bomber jacket is. Like I said, I don't, I don't go shopping. Um, but I, it looks like it's, um, it's a matter of, of shape. Uh, bomber, I can only guess, uh, goes to, I could be wrong, but maybe what the palettes of 
bombers would wear, so they're like pilot jackets. Uh, but I think it mainly refers to a shape, uh, to a particular shape. Uh, and you can, as, as, a, as a petite, and especially uh, someone without a defined waist, uh, you can do this completely wrong, or you can make it work for you. Uh, and here we go back to kind of what I said about blazers. Uh, short, if you have a bomber jacket that stops at the waist, then it works really nicely because it creates volume over your waist and now you get a tiny waist um, so I don't actually this is I only have one thing that I think comes remotely close to a bomber jacket again it's something that I happen to have in my wardrobe uh, that's a uh, casual wear which means I picked that up at Walmart on a sales rack in the children's section and paid probably two three dollars for it 20 years ago trend number seven leopard prints I remember these also being in at least last year uh, so it's good that it's one of those things that carry through um, so you don't have to throw away your clothes after you wore them for barely a year which I don't recommend doing that's the whole point of this video right they'll come back so don't throw them away uh, but uh, I so I over the years obviously I've accumulated a few uh, very few because it's not the kind of thing that um, is striking so uh, in a classic wardrobe it wouldn't be uh, you know you don't need many of them so I have a few my, my favorite is a one that is clearly outdated um, I rarely buy trendy things actually this was not a purchase it was a gift but I really like it and so I will wear it I don't care if it's in or not, I wear it every year until it falls apart. Uh, and that is the poofy sleeves. Um, I like the poofy sleeves uh, because they're romantic. And also for, um, they, they serve a, the body type like mine uh, two ways. One, we talked about defining a waist. So if you're creating volume at the, at the arms again volume on top smaller waist also that's a bonus they make your arms look smaller thank you for watching if you're still here it means you enjoyed this video so don't forget to give it a like